Hello everyone, welcome back. This is now part three, I believe. So, the first thing we're going to get is called Old School. So basically, you, we need to start at the school for the starting location. So that is the person dressed as a soldier. You're in. Good work, 47. Now to locate so the as soon as you start, you should get the challenge old school. Okay, the next challenge we are going to get is called Poster Boy. So you would want to um, activate your opportunities for the, I think it's like the press. It's something to do with printing, but I can't remember the name now. Since I played this yesterday, I'm doing a voiceover today. Um, so it's completely slipped my mind. But anyway, it's part of the opportunity. You'll see like a printing machine on the picture, of course. And then um, you want to pick that and follow the um, marker on your screen. So there's nothing really much um, for me to explain exactly. but So near enough... For this poster boy, as soon as you um, get the the poster boy disguise, I believe it's called, um, you will get the challenge for the poster boy. Hello, trooper. I'm very sorry. on us creating revolutions in their name. It's fraud. They're a terrorist organization. Who are they going to complain to? Um, us? Look, if they do find out, you and me are at the far bottom of a very long list. Now, I'd worry less about the people who are gone more about the guys who need our wages. Ah, yeah. So pretty much all you need to do is just follow the instructions on the screen and once he's in a safe area to um, subdue him, then quickly do so. So in this area here, if you do subdue him here, um, you need to do this quite quickly because that guard will turn around as well. There we go. Poster boy. Okay, so the next one is basically you need to follow the printing crew. So there is nothing really we need to do for this challenge so if you follow this printing crew all the way back to the school as soon as you get to the location you need to be you'll get the uh, why we fight challenge those people they have no idea what's about to happen don't think about it just do the job some soldiers back at the school i've heard them talking they have fake crystal dawn headgear and old afghan rifles they were planning to shoot the protesters you have to get things rolling like I said, don't think about it. When brass like Zayden play their games, there's always collateral damage. Just make sure you're not in. We're very close. You know that blood is dull. Right here, right now. Yeah. Why don't you chain yourself in Eastern Africa? I'm sure that was the last round. Keep the stuff with me. I'm going to go stick flowers in the rifle barrel. Yeah, well, I've got a conscience, so shoot me. Keep this shit up, and somebody will. How are you? Salam alaikum. You want to land? These are dark times, no? Are you a reader? You look like a reader. What about a nice new lamb? Thanks. Let me take a look around first, okay? Salam. Please. Buy lamps from shades made of Egyptian papyrus. You like? Salam. Please. Buy lamps from shades made of Egyptian papyrus. You like? Hey, 
buddy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have. Den right now, laughing his ass off. <laughs> oh man, that is so like Jeff. But come on, that is one of the biggest news. So what? You think they're gonna storm the place? Oh, yeah, we're very. It'll be done in a just way. Just. Really. Straight to the printing room. General Zayden has an announcement to make, and you boys do not want to keep him waiting. Welcome. Enjoy yourself. Hey, you watch your step, mister. Well done, 47. This ought to get Zaydan's attention. That is General Reza Zaydan. Keeper of the peace. That is why we are expanding the campaign to the other city districts and suburbs. This means there will be no breaks, not until the job's done. So whatever you do, just keep those printers running. What? So there we go. As soon as he finished his talking, um, across the crew members will actually start to work on this printer and this guy here will turn it on. Right. If you do try to turn it off, these guys will turn it back on. So pretty much these guys need to be dealt with. Um, luckily, there's only two in this room. So if you wait just a little bit, then you'll be only with two guys and you can easily take them out without noticing, well, without being noticed. Of course, these guys need to be taken out or else... Well, unless there's a different way. I've just done it my way. Kill people. But, there probably is a different way. I just didn't want to do it that way. Anyway. So, just, just kill these both and put them in this area here. Then, once the general comes into the area, or just turn it off now, um, he will bitch um, and moan about how it's turned off. And then, of course, you don't need to hide like I'm doing. At at first, I've, I thought I was going to get seen. Like, it's like an investigated area, so it wasn't. So, but anyway, he will turn on the printer machine, and then he will look at the printer machine. All you do now is press the E button, and then push the bitch through. Where his body? His body's gone. Anyway, so you get don't use that tone. So from here, um, I forgot to mention, make a manual save before you kill him, then reload the previous save. So the next thing we need to do is the bathroom break. So go into the, uh, I was going to say, the classroom. Oh, fuck it. Let's call it a classroom. Sorry about my language. Let's call it the classroom. Turn on the intercom where the two guys are talking, and then General um, Vashalalala was um, pretty much eavesdropping them. Not really eavesdrop because it's coming through the intercom. 
but he will get really 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 annoyed and then he will go downstairs then the soldiers down there will realize the intercom was on so they start to panic so this is pretty much a waiting game once you're in this uh, bathroom area so just just wait for maybe two or three minutes depending where he is and now we are going to push the toilet on top of the general so this will be the bathroom break so make a manual save here of course it's a good idea not to overwrite your previous manual saves just in case you need to backtrack for any reason until you start a new playthrough of course so as soon as you get the toilet on the general you will get the uh, bathroom break of course um, it gave like maybe one second to actually see it after the cutscene but yeah we got it so for this oil lamp there will be an oil lamp in the general's office so unfortunately we need this officer's uniform so get the uniform any way possible it'd be advisable not to get seen but then grab his uniform and then hide any bodies that are laying around of course you may already know it's already if you've been watching since episode one I don't care who I kill because I'm not going for a silent assassin I'm going for the challenges of course if it's based around silent assassin then yes I would do so anyway so from here make sure you dismiss a lot of the soldiers because this will make it just slightly easier or not slightly a lot easier because then we won't get noticed You're dismissed. General Satan's order. Um, just pick up the wrench and the crowbar yes. just to make Thank sure you. we need to make sure anyway always make sure so we don't have to uh, backtrack Please make way. and backtrack is not fun so like I said dismiss all the guys on this section or General in these Satan. hallways the other guys inside yes. the General buildings Satan. don't really matter just get these guys around the walkway so dismiss him and then the last one will be next to the office um, so I haven't found a good way or a decent way to actually General Satan's order. Actually, I should say a consistent way of actually getting in to the office so but like I said dismiss all the guys in this walkway section You're dismissed. General Satan's yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. then eventually this guy here in front of you will walk towards you so you want to dismiss him so now we want to make a manual save and of course if you know you won't have to backtrack no more um, feel free to use um, to override some of your saves Who are you? so this is actually me making a safety save because at first I did subdue this guy and the guys in the room saw me so I've done this instead the guys didn't see me what's good because that kind of the idea what I was going for anyway put the body around here um, turn the uh, lamp off you need to turn the lamp off and with the wrench you did pick up I'm hoping you did pick it up if you didn't you need to backtrack to that section where the sleeping quarters is so you pretty much turn off the lamp um, filter with the gas cylinder and then wait for the effect to happen kaboom of course I didn't show you me tampering with the uh, gas calendar calendar canister just say of course you need to tamper with that with the wrench and make sure you turn this off he gets um, annoyed I'm assuming and then he will turn it back on Little does he know, he will get blown up. Target down. Move on to Klaus Strandberg. And there we go. And then maybe a few seconds after him blowing up, there's me trying to find his body. And then you get oil lamp.
Okay, just reload your last save. Hopefully you made a save just before you killed the target. Of course you can leave him dead if you want to, but I would uh, just leave him alive because we're not actually going to finish the playthrough as such. We're going to get some challenges, then we're going to stop. So this will be the challenge for down the rabbit hole. So basically all this is required to do is go to the other target, Klaus when they call him, and, and pretty much hit a fire alarm. So this will make him evacuate the building and go into um, the underground. Then this target will be right here. Of course we don't want him to be here because after that is near enough a useless, pointless thing to do. Um, there's no, I haven't found any challenges related to the uh, opportunity anyway. So it's just the opportunity. So if you want to do the opportunity, please feel free to do it. Then just reload your manual save. Of course, we're going to make another manual save before we hit the fire alarm, just to let you know in advance, because I don't think I show it when I save it on the fire alarm. So as I uh, recorded this yesterday, and then the the other section was two days ago. So I'm just making sure I get everything packed in together. So once we're in the parking lot. Um, head towards this door here, you will see a fire alarm right here to your right hand side. So make a manual save, and I did actually show it. Make a manual save that it wouldn't mess you up, so you can reload it. So as soon as you make a manual save, hit the fire alarm, then all you want to do is just um, reload your last manual save. Make sure you do reload it. Because if you don't, then you can't do this opportunity that we're going to do. Of course, I don't show them actually me reloading the manual save. So please make sure you do that. And if you don't do that, of course, nothing will happen right for you. So go to the reception desk and look at the iPad. Then you want to go into the uh, office area where the guy is talking on, well, talking to someone. This will be the massage guy. So we have a, a slight um, delay. So near enough. Take the police guy out and then take out the uh, guy. So then quickly put both of these bodies into the cabinet before the other guy comes back. And then you want to change into the massager guy. Making sure the guy doesn't see you when he walks in when you're changing your clothes. So you get the strong hands challenge. So the next challenge will be the golden touch and the unhappy ending. These are both gained in the same location. Please let... Well, Please let me know, I was going to say. Um, please, please, please make sure you drop any lethal weapons on the ground in that previous room before you leave because we can't gain access to the second floor otherwise. Uh, we probably can do different routes, but it's just simpler to just go up the stairs and get frisked. So, find a place that is safe to do so, to drop your weapons. Because at the moment I have two guns on me. Of course, I can't go up the stairs yet. So I found a place. Not really a, a good place, but it's good enough for what I need to do. Um, take out the guy in the security room. And then you want to place both of your guns there. Of course, I didn't show it, me dropping the guns. But if you do have an issue with guns, then pl just place the guns somewhere where no one's going to see them. So then, if you're actually lucky enough you didn't have any weapons, and you could be up here already. Thanks. But for me, I had to drop some guns off. So once you search your body, you want to go to where the target is, and then he'll be waiting here for you, so stand here and he'll start talking to you. After he's finished talking to you, he'll go to the bench, and then you can pat him down or give him a massage. And the first thing you'll get, though, will be the golden touch. And then if you leave it for a couple of seconds, then the next option will be snap neck. 
Well done, Forty. So, make a manual save. I believe that achievement's for finishing all the opportunities. Of course, I'm not going to show the other opportunity because it's near enough useless. For now. Anyway. I tell you. So, like I said, as soon as you give him the massage, you'll get the challenge called Golden Touch. Now, a few seconds after, if you keep massaging him, you can even listen to him if you want to, and then snap his neck. Target down. Next up. And then you'll get the unhappy ending. So that is it for this video. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one.